Hello and thanks for stopping by. My name is Ben, and I am delighted you are watching this video. For the longest time I have been intrigued by the way golf instructors have taught forward shaft lean. There are a lot of different ideas out there for sure, but there is only one real way to do this as far as I'm concerned. You have to learn how to leverage the club coming into the hitting area. Once you do that correctly, you will have all of the forward shaft lean and effortless power you could ever imagine possible. In this video, Christopher is going to show you how to do this correctly once and for all. If you just follow his simple explanation, you will be on your way to discovering how to make forward shaft lean, or what I call leverage coming into the ball, happen in your golf swing once and for all. Christopher sincerely cares about you getting the right information, and he also cares about what he puts his name on. You can trust you'll be getting professional instruction, and when it comes to teaching, I'm not sure there is another golf instructor as passionate about teaching the golf swing as he is. Let's get started. I'm kind of moving my foot right here, trigger here, top, there. Now we're coming down baseball, 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 baseball as we're running, as we're running. Look at this. It's going to be down here. This is forward shaft lean. And then all of a sudden it's boom, right into it. So we're like this. Hands are coming around, going to the left. They're working the left side of the 90. Everything's coming down. I'm leveraging here. So now that club is down here. That's forward shaft lean, guys. It's still in front of me here with the hands. So now all of a sudden it's like, boom, right into it. But the forward shaft lane, I'm here. So now this club head is gonna go from out here. Watch what happens, it goes. See that? It's here, we're worked this way. We're coming down. Massive forward shaft lane. And then push, push and extend. Here and extend like the baseball player, right? Let me interrupt for one second. I tried very hard over the years to give solid examples referencing baseball, a throwing motion, or even skipping a rock. But what Christopher is showing you is absolutely spot on. I'm not sure if golfers are aware that I grew up in a time period where baseball was America's favorite pastime. Baseball had a huge influence on my swing, along with a solid understanding of the 90 degree angles that must be attacked at all times. But up until now, no one has been able to figure it out. I think that is partially because of Anthony's drawings, who knows, but anyways, it is great for all golfers that Christopher actually has. Let's get back to what he is teaching. So we're here, forward shuffling, chink, didn't try to manufacture this, and then boom, right through it. Because a lot of people, the way that they teach it, they teach you to go like this, get this out here like this, or do this to get forward shaft lean, or some where your hands go like this, so they'd be going like this more or less, and then they go out because they're here, and then they go out. If they manufacture this forward shaft lean here like this, so then the hands go out, and that club head goes out. But if we do it the way that we're doing it, right, we're coming to our moves, Come and do our moves. Now we're coming around. Look at the forward shaft lean that I've got. Then everything is going, exiting low left. And then, boom, I'm right through it. The hands are gonna come up. Everything looks really good. So let's look at this a different way now. Let's go here and let's say, I'm getting this forward shaft lean and trying to hang on to it. And then I try to release it. Look how everything's going out, out. But if I do it the way we're doing it, oh, look at that forward shaft lean. Now we're coming up and to the left. Boom. Look at this. It's pointing kind of at my left hip. It's not at my right hip because this and going this way points it back to my right hip. This getting forward shaft lean and releasing it the right way points it back over here in this direction because it's coming around us which then allows us to come up. So look at how open my body is at this point. And then it's, you know, pelvic thrust up. And it's so ridiculously simple when you understand the movements in baseball. So we're here, there, there's our recenter move. Now we're just gonna say baseball. <laughs> Leverage, oh my God. And then all of a sudden it's like, Look at this, guys. 
You can't get any more shaft lean than this. And I didn't try to manufacture this. Look at the angle in my right wrist. Now all of a sudden it's like, look at that angle. Then I'm just gonna, boom, come out and extend. It doesn't get any better. You don't manufacture shaft lean, just like we don't drop the damn arms down and then try to turn the body. We get here and we're like, yeah, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. That was fantastic. Make sure you click on the subscribe button. If you haven't already, it will help the channel grow. Hopefully you learned something, and make sure to keep looking for more great content to come. Take care, and we'll see you next time.